So you're looking to start a podcast and you want to make sure you're making the right choice when it comes to picking a podcast host. Or maybe you already have a show, but you're just looking for a little more from your host and you want to make a change. Either way, this video will absolutely help you make the right choice for your unique needs, your show, and your desires from a host. We have gone through and looked at all of the different podcast hosting options and made a list of our top five so that you can rest assured that you're making an awesome choice. And be sure to stick around for all five to make sure you're making the right choice. And after you've watched this whole video and made your choice, there are links to all the different hosting options in the description box of this video. And those links will get you extended free trials or sign up bonuses. So definitely go ahead and use those once you've made your choice. So every podcast host out there will make it very easy to get your show listed on all the different directories where people can listen to your show. So that is what a podcast host does. So we're not gonna keep mentioning that over and over again. Instead, how we're gonna structure this video is outline some very core or unique features to each of these hosts on our list. And then also outline some cons that come along with using that host. And finally explain the situations that would be perfect fits for each of these hosts that we're gonna mention. So the first host on our list is Spreaker. And Spreaker is a very compelling choice for a few main reasons. If you're a podcaster who's looking to make money from your show right away, Spreaker might be the choice for you because they do provide a few unique options to monetize. First, they offer programmatic monetization, which allows you to put ad spots within your episodes that they will then go find advertisers for and sell that space within your ad. And then you make a percentage of that money. So they do most of the heavy lifting when it comes to finding advertisers and you can make money from day one from the listeners of your show. They also provide you the option of selling paid subscriptions to your content, giving you another way to monetize. We also love that Spreaker allows you to host multiple shows on one plan. So if you do decide to add another podcast into the mix, you don't have to pay additionally to do so. Spreaker also offers their own audio editing solution called Spreaker Studio, which allows you to easily edit your podcasts out to a final product to then post. But some of the cons that come along with using Spreaker is that some of their very cool features are tiered, meaning you're going to have to opt for their more expensive plans to get access to some of the features that make Spreaker so compelling. And some examples are that full stats are limited to the higher plans as well as some of their monetization features. So it's something to keep in mind. So Spreaker is best for someone who is highly focused in monetizing their audience from day one. The next podcast host on the list is Buzzsprout. And Buzzsprout is actually the host that I've used to host my own show, Social Media University for the past three years. So I have a ton of experience when it comes to using Buzzsprout. Buzzsprout gives you a ton of features to work with, but what really makes Buzzsprout so compelling is that even though they're constantly adding out new features, they're always very, very easy to use. That is their core focus as a business. They never wanna give you something that will be overwhelming or compromise the experience. They wanna give you as many resources as possible, but always ones that are very simple and easy to use. And they very successfully provide a very simple to use solution for almost every feature you would want in a podcast host. And some of those features are a podcast website, a podcast player, advanced stats are on all plans. You can manage multiple shows with one plan. They also offer dynamic content insertion, which allows you to change both the pre and post role of even your older episodes to make sure that you're always sending your listeners to something that you're currently focusing on. Buzzsprout also has a very simple to use soundbite creator, which allows you to make content and then repurpose on other social media platforms. A feature unique to Buzzsprout is Magic Mastering, which allows you to very easily upload your audio and then using AI, it'll actually filter and treat the audio to make it far easier on the ears for your listeners. And there is quite a dramatic difference from before and after using Magic Mastering. So if you wanna edit your audio, but you don't wanna put in all the time and effort, it's a great solution that's built right into Buzzsprout. We also love that Buzzsprout charges based on monthly upload time. So unlike other hosts that charge based on total downloads per month, what this means is as long as your content output stays consistent, you won't ever have to increase the price of your podcast hosting. Whereas some of the other options that we'll cover in this video, they charge based on downloads. So as your show grows, you also have to pay more for hosting. And when it comes to monetizing your show through Buzzsprout, their unique solution to this is through their exclusive affiliate hub. So what they've done is gone out and negotiated exclusive affiliate offers only to Buzzsprout users. So then you can turn around, sign up for that program, and then sell that offer out to your listeners and make money through affiliate marketing. And the final note about unique features to Buzzsprout is that they're constantly rolling out new features. So even in the three years that I've been using them, there are so many more features today than when I started three years ago. So that's something you can expect. They're constantly rolling more and more out for you to use. And again, they never compromise on ease of use. Everything is always very simple and easy to use. And as for the cons when it comes to using Buzzsprout is that although you can manage multiple shows using one plan, you do have to pay per show that you're having hosted. So if you did decide to add another show, you will have to pay for another allotment of monthly 
weekly hours. So that's something to keep in mind. But if you're only planning on having one show, it's a non-issue. And our other complaint when it comes to Buzzsprout is that Magic Mastering is a paid additional service. So it's one that we absolutely love and we personally think it's worth the money for the time that it does save you, but you do have to pay for it monthly if you want it. And finally, who Buzzsprout is perfect for is a podcaster who wants to very simply run and operate their show, but doesn't want to compromise on the different tools and features that their host provides. Because everything that Buzzsprout gives you will always be very easy. So if you're focused on simplicity and ease of use, Buzzsprout is probably the way to go. Next on the list is Captivate, a growth-focused podcast hosting option. Captivate allows you to host unlimited shows on one plan and also provides the option to host a private podcast if that's something you're looking to do. You can also have unlimited team members helping you run and operate your show on Captivate. Plus, like we mentioned earlier, Captivate is very growth-focused. So they have a ton of features that are all focused on that goal of growing your audience when it comes to your podcast. So for the sake of time in this video, we won't cover all of them because there are a lot, but they do want to give you as many tools as possible to really focus on growing that audience. But naturally, with a bunch of unique marketing and growth-focused tools, you are going to have to learn how to use them, and their solution to this is through what they call Captivate Growth Labs. So Growth Labs is a library of exclusive content for Captivate users that teaches you how to use all the tools that Captivate provides, as well as the more general topics when it comes to running and growing a successful show. So within Growth Labs, there's content about SEO, marketing, audience growth, monetization, and basically anything else you could really think of when it comes to podcasting. And Growth Labs is free for all Captivate users, and the content in there is a mix of pre-recorded content as well as live trainings. So we love the fact that they give you a bunch of unique tools, but also give you the knowledge and resources to use them most effectively. The cons when it comes to Captivate is that they do charge based on monthly downloads. So as your show grows, which they want you to do, you will have to pay more for monthly hosting. And also with all the tools that Captivate gives you and all the content within Growth Labs, naturally you're gonna have to invest a decent amount of time to really make sure that you're maximizing your use of both the education materials and the tools that Captivate gives you. So that's something you should keep in mind. You're gonna have to invest some time learning this stuff. We think Captivate is best for someone who is very growth focused with their show. So if you're really concerned with growing an audience, Captivate may be the best fit for you. The next host on the list is Podbean, a podcast hosting option that provides a ton of resources to you and one that's been around for quite a bit of time. So Podbean provides unlimited bandwidth and upload across all of their paid plans. They also have their own mobile app with a ton of users that people use to consume podcasts. Podbean also gives you full customization to your podcast website. So unlike other podcast hosts that make it easy to create a very basic website, Podbean actually allows you to access the code. So you can really customize every facet of your podcast website, which is a great option for some people. Podbean also provides the option to host a private podcast if that's something that you were looking to do. Some features that are very unique to Podbean are their video podcasting tools. This is a core emphasis of theirs and it's a growing trend within podcasting. So if you were looking to incorporate video, Podbean is definitely worth checking out. And when it comes to monetizing through Podbean, they give you a ton of different options to make money from your show. They have an ads marketplace to help you find advertisers for your show. They also have a built-in patron program, which allows you to sell exclusive bonuses and content to your listeners. And you also have the ability to sell access to select exclusive content beyond the patron program. Podbean also gives you a ton to work with when it comes to live streaming your show. So within their live streaming platform, people can call into the show, whether it be a guest or a listener. They can also send in tips to the show and they can even chat while consuming the content live in real time. Podbean also has custom enterprise solutions for bigger podcast networks or larger companies. So as you can see, Podbean probably gives the most in terms of features out there. If there's something that you're looking to do, even if it's an advanced feature or an advanced tool, they probably have it and you can have access to it through Podbean. So while all these awesome features are a huge pro for some people, it's also a con for others because naturally you're going to have to spend a bunch of time learning how to maximize all these tools that Podbean gives you. So that learning curve is definitely something to keep in mind. And if you aren't very tech savvy, Podbean may not be the best choice for you. But who we think Podbean is perfect for is some Somebody who wants all the customization and freedom that all of these features give you. Because if you're willing to put in the time to really learn all of these tools, you can really do some awesome, awesome things using Podbean. Plus they do offer a bunch of educational content on their blog as well as their YouTube channel. So it's not like there's no resources or help to figure out how to master these tools. We also think Podbean is perfect for someone who has a team in place to help them run their show, especially if you're looking to live stream or use video podcasting components. Podbean is pretty much a no brainer, especially if you have some help from a team. The final host on our list is Transistor, a very simple and streamlined podcast hosting option that may be perfect for you. 
Transistor allows you to host unlimited shows on one plan, which we love. All plans also come with advanced analytics, so there's no paywall to get access to all the numbers that you're going to want. And Transistor also offers a private podcasting option, as well as industry-leading customer service and support for anything that you may run into while running your show. So while Transistor may not have the wealth of features that some of the other hosts on this list have, we love Transistor for their simplicity, ease of use, as well as their support. So the cons to Transistor is that you do pay based on monthly downloads. So again, as your show grows, expect your monthly hosting charges to go up as well. And also, if you're looking for a bunch of bells and whistles with your host, Transistor is probably not the option for you. But if you want simplicity and ease of use as well as support while going through it all, Transistor could be awesome for you. And that's really exactly who this is best fit for. Someone who wants a simple, streamlined solution with a ton of support along the way. So that's our top five list after going through all the different podcast hosting options on the market. And like we mentioned, there are links to free trials for all of the hosts we mentioned in the description box of this video. So whichever one you wanna go for, go ahead and use the link down below. And once you've made your choice, we'd love to hear from you. Which host did you go with and why? Let us know in the comment section down below. And if you're currently hosting with a different host that we didn't include on our list, let us know that in the comment section as well so we can keep an eye on them for next year's list. Also, don't forget to like this video so that you can easily find it again in the future and subscribe to the channel for more digital marketing content. I'll see you in the next video.